the LPS Marcus channel and its videos are rated PG-13. Videos as of 2020 contain mature themes, mature humor, and things not suitable for a young audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, it is me, LPS Marcus, back here with another video. And today's video is more of an informative one, but it's something I get asked a lot, and that is, do I have any tips or pieces of advice for new LPS tubers? So I thought today I'd like to give five useful tips for me that I would give out to new LPS tubers. So it's five LPS tube tips, that's going to be today's video, and we're going to jump into it right now. I actually remember it was a former LPS tuber Awesome Possum Productions, now known on her, uh, her channel Annika's Leaf. She uh, had something she used to do, it was during the summertime, it was called LPS Academy, and it was this channel that helped out a lot of smaller LPS tubers, they made their own short films and stuff, and it had a lot of helpful tips and uh, tricks on there, so. I don't know if that channel's still up, I haven't really looked in to see, but regardless, I'm gonna give you guys some of my own tips and tricks today, and like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna jump into it here. My first piece of advice is pick a unique mascot, kind of similar to making unique content, but in this case, think of your mascot as the face of your channel. Second piece of advice I would give is just reply to your comments, engage with your audience. Because, you know, I, I will admit I'm guilty of sometimes not replying to all my comments, but I try my best to reply to all my comments. I almost leave a heart on all of them. And the reason I like doing this is because it shows my audience that I've seen their comment and I like their feedback or I like what they've said. And I normally will leave a reply too and I engage with my audience. This is good because it not only helps with audience retention, but it really connects you deeper with your audience members and just liking your comment if you reply as well that'll leave an even better connection and it's always good to connect with other lps tubers that even actually takes us to tip number three tip number three is just do a good job networking you know make friends with other members of the lps tube community it's always good to have friends in any niche or community out there and for me a big part of my success and growth has been connecting with other lps tubers and just making friends with people in the community it's good to make friends in general, but when you comment on other LPS tubers' videos, not only will they hopefully subscribe, but they might go watch your content, they might want to connect with you, and that's how I really grew my channel early on. I used to comment on other LPS tubers' videos a lot more than I do now. Um, we would connect, and that's a lot of how I did my early growth, and it's something I would recommend, because it's also good to build your, uh, your fan base within your niche from other people who are in that niche, like other fellow LPS tubers. It was just another piece of advice and something that was really valuable for me when it was time to grow my channel early on. I'll even show you a look at this here. That's an old YouTube uh, newsletter I got, 2017. I only had 217 subscribers. I've come a long way since then, and it wasn't just overnight. It was from networking, posting, and just being consistent. My fourth piece of advice is quality over quantity. Now, I know there's some people out here who will tell you, oh, post consistently. And I think posting consistently is a good thing. I post every week. But if you're in your early stages of LPS tube, that might not be ideal for you. And that's okay. But one thing I will say with the content you're posting, try and post good quality videos rather than just posting something every day to try and get your views up or hope it'll go viral. Because even a lot of my videos that I posted that ended up getting a lot of views weren't the ones I thought. And then I've posted videos I thought were going to get a lot of views and they haven't. So sometimes it's hard to predict the success of your videos. But just make sure you're recording good quality videos and not spamming too much. Because sometimes you post too much and you spam and it might turn your audience off. So post on a consistent basis, but post good quality videos. Don't just spam videos out every day and... And post too much because like i said that sometimes can drive away your audience it, it's okay to do that but something i try and avoid doing final tip for me would be just improve at making thumbnails and kind of get in the grasp of making thumbnails for your videos you know far too often i've seen people just post something out there and they don't put a thumbnail on it and that's okay but sometimes it might not look professional depending on the default image youtube has selected for your video now, I'm not saying anyone out there can just go make thumbnails and be Picasso at it, but if you find the right software online, I recommend paint.net. I'll put it on the left here. That's what I use to make my thumbnails. I also use uh, Kinmaster. Put that up there as well. Those are two softwares. I recommend two apps and uh, both very good for editing. And it doesn't take long. You just put the image in, you 
edit the text in, and that's all there really is to it, so. Like I said, I'm not saying you need to be a professional, but just try and make thumbnails to the best of your ability if you can, because sometimes an eye-popping thumbnail is what will drive an audience to your video, and same goes with an eye-catching title. That pretty much ends it, though. Those are five pieces of advice I would give to LPS tubers, new LPS tubers out there. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want to see a part two to this? I'm sure I could create five more pieces of advice, so let me know in the comments below. I've always been asked this before, so there we have it. Happy to do a video like this. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good weekend, everyone. Peace out.